Welcome back. We're on creativity and innovation for Unit 6 website development. This is still part A. Please give a like and a subscribe to help the channel grow. Thank you. The first thing we have is layout, right? And here it says unconventional layout. Is the layout conventional? Meaning, does it, is it normal? Does it follow similar designs to other websites? Or is it unconventional? Does it create its own layout style, which is a bit weird, a little bit abnormal, right? I would say Amazon's layout is very normal. It's very reminiscent of other similar websites ebay amazon um what else is there let's say jd sports or whatever things are laid out vertically along the page you typically have um, a navigation bar at the top and maybe a navigation menu at the left hand side like this so very 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 typical of a website uh, does the layout work well with the website is it easy to navigate the website is the layout consistent amazon's layout as i mentioned in a previous video is very very consistent because on every website, you will be able to get to other sections of the website and be able to see everything that they have on other sections from your current section. So let's say I wanted to go back to, um, I don't know what the first one was again, bestsellers, right? I simply go to that same section from any web, any web page I'm on. I can go back to that same menu section and get back to the trending sections here, okay? So very consistent layout. Every single web page has the banner in the top left my uh, my address or a thingy there then it has the search bar in the middle uh to the right of that it has my account details and my basket and so on very 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 conventional layout very uh logical layout right is there anything particularly creative about the layout or um or the website i would say this is v tremendously standard however it, it may be cluttered your website might not be as cluttered as mine but this is very very standard of websites having everything um, the menus across the top and having the content going down the page. All right. Next, we have white space. This has come up. This is probably the third time white space has come up. I don't think it's something you need to put here again, but if you want to add it here again, that's perfectly fine. So is the white space that's used on this website, is it creative or innovative in any way? Or is it simple, standard, straightforward, like every other website out there? Amazon again, nothing special. I think the white space using this website is very logical, is very good. It, it clearly denotes or shows where something starts and stops again. However, there's nothing creative or innovative about it. It's, it's used how every other website has used it. For something to be creative or innovative more, um, if something is innovative, it is new. Not many people would have done it in the past or potentially no one has done it in the past. The way Amazon's website is, this is how every other website is in my opinion. Uh, next, we have golden ratio. Again, here, we should be defining what things are, but golden ratio is one that stands out because we haven't used it before, whereas white space and layout probably have been used before. So go ahead, find a good definition for golden ratio, read it, understand it, rewrite it, and reference it. Do you think your website makes use of golden ratio? Yes. And in which ways? Maybe what you could do um, is screenshot your website and put the golden ratio icon or sign over the screenshot that you have to see if it uses a golden ratio thing. It doesn't have to be exactly um, matching the golden ratio because you might have zoomed in on your website. I think mine, see my website is 100% here, but I typically have things at 110 because of my bad eyesight. So try that, see if it works. And oh yes, I said here as well actually, use screenshot to show the point you are speaking about. So for example, if you think your layout is very unconventional, very outside the box thinking, very amazing, very wonderful, put a screenshot above or below what you're speaking about. White space, same thing. Golden ratio is the one where if your website does make use of golden ratio, you definitely should put a screenshot of the golden ratio icon over it. If it does not make use of golden ratio and you want to show that it does not make use of it, still put the screenshot over it and then simply say it doesn't make use of it and you've tested it by using the golden ratio icon over the screenshot and it doesn't match up, it doesn't have anything to do with the golden ratio. It was simply designed to have the content it needs to have. So this is it for creativity and innovation. Again, a very, very tiny section. And, a, and keep in mind that these are these subheadings, layout, white space, golden ratio, three, four sentences, make up a mini paragraph, then you can bring all of that together or leave them laid out like this. And then that whole thing comes together to give you a nice paragraph for creativity and innovation. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share.